This is a simple circuit board with four switches and four colored bulbs to match. You can see the underside there. And you can see just how thin it is and it's all powered by a cell battery. Now, of course, this works just like any circuit board. The switch operates the bulb that's right in front of it, okay? And the spectator, if they were here, they could play around with the circuit board and they'd say that that's exactly true. That's exactly how it operates. They can play with it as long as they want. But now, whenever I want the magic to happen, I ask them to tell me any two colored bulbs they want. Let's say, um, let's say red and yellow. So the red and the yellow bulbs. Now I'm just gonna switch these bulbs out like this. And of course, they're both on since the switches are on. But now, if I turn off the yellow bulb, it should turn off this red bulb, but it actually turns off the yellow bulb. And over here, this red switch now turns off the red bulb. Somehow, these switches are still operating the color of the bulb that the switches represent. And of course, green still does green and blue still does blue. Let's do this. Let's switch any two other bulbs. Now, we can either switch these two bulbs back. We can switch uh, the two bulbs that we haven't switched yet, or we can do my personal favorite, which is to switch a bulb that we've already switched with one that we haven't. Let's go with that one. So let's say that they want to switch the red bulb and the blue bulb. And the spectator chooses this. And you know what? This time, instead of switching the bulbs, I'm going to switch the uh, switch covers. So the blue one, sorry, the red one goes where the blue one was, and the blue one goes where the red one was. And now... This switch was, was operating the red bulb, now operates the blue bulb, and this one, which was operating the blue, now operates the red. And again, the spectators can play with the circuit board all that they want. This really is the way that it's set up. So yellow still does yellow, green still does green, blue does blue over here, and red does red over there. You can see each one of the switches operating the correct bulb. Let's do this. Let's mix these bulbs up completely. So I'm gonna take all the bulbs out, and the spectator will tell me where every bulb is placed. So let's say they want the uh, let's say they want the red bulb placed right here, and let's say they want the blue bulb placed over here. That's in line with the blue switch. And let's say the yellow bulb goes here, and the green one goes here. So they decide exactly where they want each one of those bulbs to be placed. And yet still, the blue bulb and blue switch operate the the blue switch operates the blue bulb, and the yellow switch operates the yellow bulb, the red switch operates the red bulb, and the green switch <laughs> operates the green bulb, even though they've been mixed up. And again, you can check it out. That really is the order that it, it really does operate in that way. Now let's take all these off. Let's take all of these little covers off here, and we'll pull them all off the switches, and we'll have the spectator mix up these covers. So let's say they want the green one down here, and let's say that they want to move the blue one over, let's just say they want to move it over one to here. And let's say we have, we can either do red and yellow like this, or we can switch them. Let's just do it like this. Totally up to the spectator where each one of these goes. So now we've mixed up all the switches. So now everything's in a totally different configuration, yet blue still operates the blue bulb, the yellow switch still operates the yellow bulb, the red switch still does red, and the green switch still does green. It's still operating the exact bulb that matches the color. It doesn't make any sense. If you know anything about electricity, this makes absolutely no sense, and yet it's happening. Let's go really crazy, though. Let's have the spectator tell me any one of these colored bulbs to remove. Let's say they want me to remove the red one. Totally up to them. And I'll replace it with any of the other colored bulbs, yellow, green, or blue. Let's just say they want yellow. Why not? So now we have no red bulb, and we have two yellow bulbs. So if I turn on the red switch, it should turn on this bulb here, but the red switch does nothing. Now that we have no red bulb, that operates absolutely nothing. And the yellow switch now operates both yellow bulbs. One switch operating two bulbs. That's wild. The blue still does the blue, green still does the green, and red does absolutely nothing. It's crazy. You know what? Let's, let's put this yellow bulb back, and let's actually replace it with a white bulb. Now, there's no white colored caps on any of these, and really that's just a blank bulb. There's no blank caps. And you'll see this yellow one, which was just operating both of these bulbs. If I flip the yellow switch now, it just operates yellow. Green operates green, blue operates blue. There's absolutely no red switch, and there's nothing operating this bulb because there's no blank switch. 
Now let's do this. Let's have you tell me any, so we have a green, yellow, and blue, and we have, so that would be green, yellow, and blue. Tell me any one of these colors and I'll take that colored cap off. Which one should it be? Green, yellow, or blue? Let's just say green. We take the green off and which one should I put it on? The blue or the yellow? And it's totally up to them. Let's say yellow. So I put the green cap on top of the yellow cap. Now we have a blank switch. And when I turn on the blank switch, it now turns on the blank bulb. And this one over here that has the yellow and the green, if I turn it on, it now turns on both the yellow and the green. One switch operating the yellow and the green, two different colored bulbs, the blank one operating the white, the blue still operates the blue, and the red still does absolutely nothing. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to try to put everything back in order. So let's see. We'll put the yellow over here. We'll move the red. We'll put the green on here where it belongs. We'll move the blue over one switch. We'll add the red back here. We're just trying to get everything back in order, and we'll take out the white bulb and put the red bulb back in its place. Whoops. There we go. And now you'll see the blue does the blue, red, red, green, green. It operates the bulb that's directly in front of it. And the spectator can completely examine it. They can play with it. And it will only ever operate the bulb that's right in front of it. And that is the magic switchboard.